Welcome back to virtual reality. My name is Thomas and you're watching Budo DE VR. This is the next episode of my VR and AR weekly news, this time with week 27, 2023. And um, yeah, it's, it was a nice week. Um, not too hot, so that's fine. <laughs> you will find everything about VR and AR hardware, games, releases and sales. Thank you to my sponsors, Virtuos VR, Opperman Events and Virtual Escape. Let's have some fun with the weekly news and let's go. Voodoo.de Full body tracking by Sony. This is what we talked about in the last uh, month and um, you could order that in Japan. It's called Mokopi based on motion capture. And now you can order that in the US. You will be able to pay for these devices. And the price is 450 bucks. You will get six packs that you will put on your body. <laughs> And then you will be able to play VR chat with full body tracking. Um, you will connect these six devices to a smartphone app and then it's translated to virtual reality. You can use it with, for example, Quest 2 or PC VR and stuff. And uh, yeah, it's, it's uh, really nice. Uh, here is the um, link in this article of Road to VR. You can order that. and. Um, will ship on July 14, 2023. The interesting thing or the crazy thing is, so the d devices are from Sony and you, you would think, of course, it's uh, um, possible with the PlayStation VR 2, but it's not. <laughs> it's crazy. So the full body de devices uh, by Sony are compatible with all VR headsets besides the PlayStation VR 2. This is insane. <laughs> Perhaps some time later it will be possible, but for now, not. So, yeah, full body tracking. So D-Rail Valley, one of the more popular VR games, it's a train simulator, got a really huge update. Now you can download that on Steam or Oculus PC. And here is what we get. So we get a new environment so sounds, for example, new items. Um, we get a water simulation, lightning, weather simulation, day and night cycle. We got a new locomotives like a diesel. Uh, then we also have steam simulation, brake simulation and stuff, train mod support we have. And then we have, for example, external camera. We have hands for virtual reality. Uh, driving um, with a mouse cursor, um, inventory uh, revamped, a user interface, sandbox mode, new interface. So as you can see, there's a huge update. So the game is priced at 40 bucks and uh, I, I already tried that on my channel. It's totally worth it and I'm pretty sure with this update, it will be even better. And here are some news uh, for the Apple Vision Pro that's uh, coming in early 2024. So uh, the production target of the Apple Vision Pro first was uh, 1 million units in the first year. But now they seem to reduce that to around 130,000 to 150,000 units in the first year worldwide. And this is nothing, I would say. It's, it's really nothing. Um, and this is due to the hard um, production process. So as we all know, there are micro OLED displays, they are expensive, they are hard to manufacture and all that stuff. And the second thing is, uh, the, the um, internal motherboard is shaped like a, a, in, in a bow. Yeah, like, like this. And it's very hard to assemble that main board with all that stuff. Uh, um, and this is another thing why, why it's really hard to produce that headset. So perhaps some people that want to buy the headset will not get it because it's not produced in so many units. However, we will see. 
what comes next year. The next thing is some people thought that we can play VR games with the Apple Vision Pro and then we can connect some controllers um, like, I don't know, index controllers or MetaQuest or even only some pointer or so. This will not happen because Apple said they won't um, um, ship a controller and likely they will also not um, allow any third party controllers. And that means we won't really be able to play uh, VR games with that. I mean, they showed something like Rec Room, but let's be honest, guys. When we have a competitive VR game, even when like this, uh, this shooter games in, in Rec Room, if you play with your hands and the enemy plays with a VR controller, you have no chance. Yeah? And that's... You cannot really play a, a big VR games with hand tracking. It doesn't work. It's, for me, it's only a, a, a cool feature that you can play around with the hands, but it's, it will never be as precise or good as playing with controllers. And um, yeah, so that's, that's sad because the, the headset has a very good display. Yeah, very, very sharp, very detailed. And I would totally love to play some VR games. Uh, uh, let's, for example, um, connect it to a PC and then have a really good uh, vision and stuff. But yeah, likely that, that will not happen. And that's very sad. So, and the uh, uh, next Quest 3 game um, seems to be coming. Uh, by Twisted Pixels, they made, for example, Path of the Warrior. They are under the Oculus Studios and uh, they have a job listing. Um, and they said they need a job, um, a developer for an unannounced, uh, unannounced VR game using the Unreal Engine. Woo, that's uh, interesting. Unreal Engine 4. Why not 5? <laughs> And uh, yeah, um, this is also a multiplayer network game because there's some something listed for developing a multiplayer network game and uh, seems very interesting. So uh, the quest will be quest three will be released in I think beginning of October 2023. And yeah, we will see if that is uh, a good game. I hope they will. It will be, I hope it will be released together with the Quest 3, but uh, perhaps later. And I think it will also be available for the Quest 2. Yeah, let's see what comes there. So a lot of uh, VR related companies um, are working together in the so-called China Mobile Metaverse Alliance. And there are a lot, uh, so uh, China Mobile is one of the large or the largest wireless carrier uh, in China with over 940 million customers. That's crazy. And uh, in this alliance, there are, um, for example, Huawei, Xiaomi, HTC Vive, uh, Nolo or, or Xreal, uh, known as uh, Nreal formerly. So um, the goal is to cooperate between the companies to bring the metaverse development forward. So I think this is a good idea um, uh, because everybody who works on, on metaverse, that's a good thing for, v, for VR and XR and stuff. But if, if I, I have no idea if that helps us in, in uh, US or Europe, uh, we will see. <laughs> um, but perhaps we will see uh, a good headset by HTC Vive. Uh, that would be so good because in the in the past HTC, let's be honest, they suck. Yeah. Uh, did you know uh, that the HTC Vive Cosmos was uh, uh, killed? Now it's uh, not available. They deleted the page in the US. You cannot order that anymore. Crazy. So I would love that HTC is doing some good headset. We will see, but this alliance is pretty interesting. 
So Samsung wanted to release the new XR headset in cooperation with Qualcomm and Google uh, in the in the upcoming month. But as it seems, it's uh, postponed like a three to six months. Um, so uh, we will have to wait a little bit more. And the reason could be the competition to the Apple Vision Pro. But I, I, I was thinking about why should a headset that's 3,500 bucks be a competitor? So when we think about that, it's likely that uh, Samsung was pla uh, plans another high priced headset perhaps in the XR sector. Uh, otherwise, it, if you bring a headset for six, 700 uh, bucks, then the Apple Vision Pro is no competi competitor. Yeah, because it's just uh, 3,500 bucks. I don't know. I don't know what they uh, what they are releasing, but uh, could be interesting. And um, I hope there will be some cool stuff coming by Samsung. And let's check out the releases. On Steam we have Mythic Defender, another very cheap uh, looking tower defense game. House of Moir, this is an audiovisual experience in VR and another relaxing simulation, Reams, Realms of Flow and another very cheap looking baseball simulator, Home Run Derby versus Fairy Tales. Uh, the next one is a also very, very cheap looking um, game, Monster Rampage VR, a shooter game. So on Steam, there is so much bullshit. It's unbelievable. Just, I, I, I don't know. Um, however, on the PlayStation VR 2, we have Synapse. And this is a really good VR game. I showed that on my channel. It makes good use of the PlayStation VR, like the adaptive triggers or the eye tracking. It's a really good action game. Um, I can totally recommend this. And math, uh, math world. You can learn maths in uh, VR <laughs> so for for some children, perhaps pr pretty good. And on Pico, you know, there's still no web page, but they sent me an email. We have Aspire 2, then Wings 1941, Home After War, and Gravity VR. That were the releases this week. And let's check out the sales. On Steam, we still have the Steam Summer Sale. So I cannot show you all the sales. It's too much. But uh, this page is pretty cool. It's the steamdb.info. And there you can filter, for example, the rating of the game and the discount. And then you will see, uh, and here uh, VR. And then you see all the uh, games. For example, the first one is, is uh, Half-Life Alyx, 60% off. And here are some really good games. But my biggest advice is that you use your wish list on Steam. So over the whole year, if you like a <coughs> VR game, put it on your wish list. And then you have a lot of games in your wish list. And as soon as there is a sale, just go to your wish list and then you see how um, many or what games are on sale. That's really good. Um, then on the PlayStation VR 2, we have the Tale of Onogoro, nice adventure, 20% off, Organ Quarter, really good horror adventure, 20% off, Limil Body Combat, a fighting game, 20% off, and Synth Riders, a nice music rhythm game, 40% off. There is nothing uh, at Pico, they didn't send me something. So guys, that were the weekly news. Thank you for watching, give me a thumbs up and see you next time in virtual reality. See ya! Wudu.de